Welcome back, everyone. Let's talk sports right now. Team 12's Cameron Cox is here. Cam, the D-backs in Hollywood getting ready to take on the Dodgers. And, you know, let's hope they have some magic. As in always, Chavez Ravine has not been kind to the team. Not at all, Jonathan. I, I got some bones to pick with them, okay? Y'all yeah. remember this scene in 2013 when the Dodgers clinched the NL West, right? L.A. jumping in our pool. D-back CEO Derek Hall had a chance to end all this, right? He was asked if the Dodgers win the series, can they celebrate in the D-backs pool? You got to go through them, and they've earned that. So they have the right to, to celebrate however they want, uh, wherever they want. Uh, Derek, the answer is no. They cannot celebrate in our sp uh, pool, especially an L.A. team. Come on, man. I don't care if I have to stand guard myself. It's just not happening. I put that out there on social media. Many of you said you'd hold the line with me. In the meantime, Lena Washington in L.A. getting us ready for game one. The Diamondbacks knew the Dodgers would be waiting for them in the division series, but just a few days ago, after sweeping the Brewers in the wild card, outfielder Alec Thomas told us, we owe them something. These clubs know each other very well from being division rivals, and the Dodgers took the regular season series eight games to five this year, but this will be just the second time Arizona and L.A. face off in the postseason. The Dodgers, as we know, swept the Diamondbacks in the division series back in 2017, Arizona's last playoff appearance, but manager Tori Lovello believes this team is connected and dangerous enough to shock the baseball world. You know, that's who Tori is. He, he, he prides himself on bringing the best out of everybody around him and um, you know it starts with the energy that he brings you see the passion when he talks to the team uh, we feel that passion and you know it's easy to go to to go to war for somebody like that every day Arizona State product Merrill Kelly has been named to the starter for the D-backs in game one and Clayton Kershaw the ace for the Dodgers will get the ball on Saturday what makes Clayton Kershaw such a formidable pitcher as a batter uh, yeah, you know, his ability to execute um, in any moment um, feels like sometimes he can throw all his pitches for strikes at any given time. First pitch for game one tomorrow is set for 620 and game two is set to start just after six and we'll have continuing coverage on air and online. We're on the road with the Diamondbacks in Los Angeles. Lena Washington, 12 Sports.